Hello everybody, welcome to this week's ATCD Thursday. Um, I've got a CD here. I've got some... Um, uh, my gosh, my mind just went blank. I have got some sandpaper. My gosh. I've got my twig moth shirt punch. I've got some cardstock that I'm going to use to punch that twig stamp. And I've got one here. And I did a, I used my new, um, Distress Pigment inks, the, um, my gosh, my brain is not working today, the inks, oxide inks, and I did this background. Um, but I'm going to show you that I'm going to use, you can use things like watercolor paper. Um, so because I need like an oceany kind of theme, I think I'm gonna go with this paper here. Move those out of the way and I've got I'm lucky enough to have some adhesive sheets which are quite large these are some remnants from other CDs that I covered so I am going to use this to stick on actually I'm going to, going to draw around it so I don't waste any I do that and draw around that that way I'm not wasting it too much okay so let me quickly cut this out If you don't know what an ATCD is, I think I've got a, an ATCD one, uh, 101. So if I have, I'll link it in the description box. And in the icon, so it pops up now. Okay, so let's peel this off. This is double-sided sheets. Okay, finally got the backer off. I will probably go around the edges with a, a bit of sandpaper just to get them all neat and tidy once I've got everything on. Okay, so that makes my ATCD ad adhesive so I can attach some, attach that marble effect watercolor effect paper onto it. Get my finger. Okay, so I, I want some this on there also but I don't want I don't want any edge okay I'm happy I think I'm not happy with that and I will put some art bits of glue on these there Okay, I am now going to use my scissors to cut around this and then I shall go round it with a um, piece of sandpaper just to neaten out the edges. Now in essence what we're creating here is the ocean floor. Just go and use this bit and I'm going to go and sand the edges. Okay, and then I've got this one here. I'm going to use this as some seaweed. I'm 
probably going to lift this up slightly as well to make sure it goes behind as well as in front. And I'm not bothered about it being stuck down in, in its entirety because I want um, I want movement. nautical themed embellishment tote and I think I'm going to use some of these these are plastic resin starfish this anchor like it's at the bottom of the ocean Some of these lovely fish fish shaped buttons if I can get them out. Now I was thinking of using some um, fish stamps and then colouring them but I think I might want to use some of these fish shaped buttons. Okay with my Walnut. I'm going to go around the edges just to give this a bit of definition. And I'm going to adhere some gems as well for their um, for the air bubbles. I think I'm going to call that one done. Nice and simple. And it's dry. But there we go. Here's one I did with some stamping. But as you can see, the uh, colours bled for it. Not very, you know, the, the colours bled, and I did, didn't like it. So I probably what I can do with this is just. I'm hoping I can just tear it off. But if not, I can get rid of all this stuff that's loose. And I can recover it with paper and use it for something else, for another ATC. Here's an ATC that I did. So you can do them quite simply, and then I can just adhere some um, some uh, some fish on there. But if you don't have the fish buttons, you can just tap out some of your fish images and put them on there. But thank you very much for joining me today, and you'll see me again next month for ATC. ATCD and obviously in between them that month for other videos. Take care now. Bye bye.